Anthony Hoyt from England makes his street art with streets. In 2016, aided by the Strava GPS app, he started peddling out faces and figures on Britain's road systems and maps. The app was originally designed to help athletes keep track of their activity. Anthony Hoyt uses his bicycle to draw. Here, his canvas is the streets of Manchester in Northern England. As an idea, it's been around for a while. There are people all over the world doing them to, to varying sort of standards. And I'd seen a few of these. I did my first one five years ago, I suppose, and thought, oh, I could have a go at that. Let's see what I can find. And I found a dog in Cheltenham, which is where I live. And looking back at it now, it's a bit rubbish, really. But um, I sort of figured out what to do, um, what to look for. Um, and I've just sort of been doing them ever since. Anthony Hoyt generally covers 80 to 120 kilometers to make one image. In Manchester, he's trying for a more complex motif. It usually takes him between four to six hours to ride the distance, but it can take up to three months to plan. So for today, I plan to draw a picture of ducks across Manchester. Driven by the street pattern, really, um, I tend to look at maps and see what jumps out at me. It's like looking at clouds, seeing what, whether I see a picture in them. Uh, and it happened to be ducks. Well, I saw the big duck, first of all, and, but I like to sort of try and do something a bit complex. He traces out a wide variety of subjects. Elephants in Birmingham, faces in Sheffield, Cheltenham, and Cardiff, a Yorkshire Terrier in Leeds, and a flock of birds in Bristol. Anthony's creativity can best be seen on the app. It was his Christmas sketches that first drew international attention. It certainly seems to have become a tradition. Um, the first one I did was the snowman, and that was just having a go, really. I thought I'll do a Christmas one, but it went down so well. I had so much media attention and people messaging me from all over the world. It was really sort of gratifying. So I thought, well, the next year I'll try and do something else. And then, yes, it's become a tradition. And now the pressure's on, I've got to think of something for this year. The 53-year-old travels all over Britain, making his GPS drawings. Here and there, he even runs into fans of his work. It just makes you feel really good, and I think that's what cycling does generally, but this was just a really nice, nice story, amazing pictures, really well thought out, like really meticulous, and, and I just looked at it and thought, it, j it just makes you feel good, and, and, and that's what it's all about. Anthony has acquired the epithet Pedaling Picasso. By profession, he works as an appraiser of historic buildings but he originally studied product design. The detailed planning and implementation of his drawings provides a creative balance to his daily routine. There's, there's always obstacles. Um, I look at the, the map and I find what I want to find, but then I have to, to go onto Google Street View, zoom right into particular junctions. Um, I find that the, the nice clear line that I've got on a, um, an aerial view, I zoom in and actually it's a railway rather than a road. I can't do anything about that. Same with motorways. Um, so I have to zoom right in at junctions, work out how I'm going to cross that busy bit, whether I feel safe riding on that particular bit of road. His latest piece requires him to pedal 76 kilometers around Manchester for about five and a half hours. He can use the Relive GPS tracking app to follow his ducks as they hatch in the form of a video. I'm very pleased with it. It's come out, well, as I planned, it's come out exactly right. So yeah, I'm, it's good. It's really nice coming back and seeing how much the, the place has changed and there's some brilliant new architecture around um, and some pretty good cycling infrastructure too. Great um, cycle path in some places. Anthony Hoyt plans to also cycle outside of Britain. In Paris, France, for example, where he's got a drawing in mind. And for a challenge, he'd like to go to the United States and figure out ways to make drawings in the grid-patterned city streets over there.